Where is the secret room where you keep all of the hop slam that you save for very important visitors like us? Slam in here, like barrels and barrels of hops. Welcome back to the happy hour, guys. Welcome to Kalamazoo, Michigan, or actually near Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is Bell's Brewing Company, and who said craft beer can't be big? When I first started communicating with this particular person, I thought, well, it's really weird that she has the last name as the brewery itself. Perhaps you should introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your relationship to what is Bell's Beer. Sure. Well, my name is Laura Bell. I'm the director of marketing for Bell's. Larry Bell is my father, and he started the brewery when I was two months old. I have a younger brother who also works in the business, so Bell's is a very family-oriented company. This brewery is like the same age as you. Yes, uh, it's, I'm two months older than it, and I remember as kids, you know, we would have little jobs at the brewery. Like, I used to have to rubber cement labels onto six-packs and wash glasses and fold t-shirts and um, help out around the brewery. So to go from there, fermenting in a soup terrine with a, a piece of saran wrap over the top, yep. to go from that to this incredible 200 barrel brew house which is absolutely beautiful what a change in just a short amount of time yeah i still walk in here and go holy crap is this bell is like i think it, i think it's taking us a little bit of getting used to truly it is a lot to get used to but they have taken full advantage if you go back to where everything started their original brewery you will now find bell's eccentric cafe which is their brew pub also there is a music venue which gets some great acts and out back a garden which years ago was a brownfield. Seriously, there was an old car back here. Okay, back to the brewery. There's something about breweries that kind of, maybe this is sacrilegious to say, I don't know, reminds me of churches where you the big cathedral ceilings and it's calm and it's quiet and, you know, especially in this space, it just really, it's really special. Laura, we couldn't agree more. We joke a lot about their seasonal brews like Bell's Hop Slam and Oberon, which are extremely popular. However, Bell's made their name with a lineup of core brews like Two Hearted Ale and Kalamazoo Stout that have only maintained their quality as they've gotten bigger. How much bigger, you ask? We're in 18 states, uh, Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. We're not in a hurry to get to all 50 states. We want to make sure that we supply the states that we're in. So we're just, ta we're just taking our time, you know. <laughs> What will, with the addition of this brew house, what will your production be up to this year? Um, this year we're hoping to do about 230, 240,000 barrels of beer. Full capacity numbers are a little, a little bit different because if we add fermenters it changes things, but theoretically, you know, potentially 800,000 barrels of beer, so that's a lot of beer. Wow. So one thing they're doing at Bell's while they get bigger is staying true to their roots. Get a load of this. Back about a year or two ago, my dad and uh, John Mallet had lunch with John Stroh, one of the you know original family members from Stroh Brewery, and um, it turns out that there were pieces from the original Cypress fermentation tanks in a warehouse in Detroit, and they asked if we would be interested in taking some of them, and we said, hell yes. And for those of you who don't know the history, Stroh's was a Detroit-based brewer that my father and many, many of us uh, who know Michigan well grew up drinking in a Cypress fermentation tank. These days, Cypress is very rarely used for beer because it's an inexact science. You can do some really amazing, cool stuff with this wood. To have this piece of, of history uh, working here at Bell's, that is so amazingly cool. Stroh's, the brewery in Detroit, actually closed in 1985. Yep, when we opened. So it's neat to be able to keep that Michigan legacy with these tanks still still going so proud to be part of Michigan brewing history in that way I'm I'm gonna cry a little bit no seriously I'm like tearing up right now I really feel like you guys have held on to your culture and your tradition here well and that's been one of the things that we've you know honestly we've struggled with a little bit is how do we get big and stay small and I think one of the things is is Bell's does feel like a big family you know we work together we play together we really operate as such a great family sort of team this is the power of craft, people. This is the power of what you can do if you set your mind to it. You can turn a brown field into an Eden. We're growing and it's been a lot of change and it's been a lot of transition and it hasn't always been easy, but everybody has, has really just supported the growth here. And they're doing it right at Bell's Brewery, right here in Kalamazoo. Can I say one thing? Yeah. And this is, this is a compliment of the highest order, but those are the girliest safety glasses I've ever seen. <laughs> Instead of wearing all the big manly ones, you know, a little pink doesn't hurt with your steel toes, so. I've always said that. A little pink doesn't hurt with your... Excuse me. Okay, I think we lost him. Are they in here? Okay, I'm coming. 